All right, my fellow Titans. Looks like we're getting her on. Good stuff. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. Excellent. <laughs> All right. Woohoo! Hey, I'm Titan the Great Dane. Today we're going to be working on a husky. <laughs> we rendered out this husky here in uh, Daz 3D using the eye ray renderer because the eye ray renderer can actually render out individual strands of hair. And just to show you here, this guy actually is um, on his own masked out layer. So, boop, check that out, eh? Yeah, so, um, so yeah, so we're gonna actually going to be fixing up some of these uh, highlights in that uh, that are a little bit blown out. So, um, yeah, so, so, yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing today. And we're going to be listening to some great music through uh, Epidemic Sound. Good stuff. So, I just love the expression on this husky's face here. It's, uh, it's, it's it, it, it's just is is just great <laughs> but um for the last few days i've been using that uh, octane render and uh and i've actually found a limitation with the octane render the octane render does not render out individual strands of hair it 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 doesn't do it it can uh, it can do like painted hair that was on um that you might have used with the uh, substance painter from adobe but uh but doing individual strands of hair it uh like like let me just kind of like this in a bit like kind of go in here like you see you see here um it's it, octane can't seem to handle that at all it just put, throws its hands up in the air and says no i don't like that i don't i don't want to do that so i'm like okay so there you go so this husky here was actually rendered out in uh, in iray uh, which is the render that shipped with uh, with uh, Daz 3D Daz Studio, and uh, and then uh, what I what I didn't like with this render here is the fact that uh, it uh, with the lights it uh, in the final render it um, it just kind of you know just kind of just kind of puts all these weird little bright bits in here. It's 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 just it's just odd, and then um, because. Even, even though I was moving the lights around on that and just trying to get his highlights done and make his eyes look absolutely fantastic, the expression in his eyes, I'm, I'm just loving to death. Um, that came out wonderfully. And if you might have seen the previous streams in the last like three to four days, I've been focusing a lot on the eyes. So so I really focus on the eyes on this one here and, and the Husky's eyes are, are just fabulous. But we got all these little weird things happening in with the muzzle and around here. And we also have a body shot as well too. So yeah, so it, it's kind of like it put in all this extra noise right in here and, uh, and the lighting is good. The lighting around here is good uh, along the back, just the way the angle is and the way it's, it's coming through along his chest and his back leg in that. But, but it's just these weird little bits. So, so on stream, we're just gonna, we're just gonna fix this up a bit. We're just gonna, we're just gonna play around with it and, and just have some fun. <laughs> Cool, and there's like a zillion different ways you can get you can get rid of these. Like you could denoise them in that, but uh, but I, I find that uh, when you use like uh, denoise and and some other these kind of tools to to get rid of these, I guess they would think they're specs. They're really lines. They're uh, they're lines, eh? And they're lines of different degrees. So I find what I've used without destroying the hair. But it's a little more time consuming and I think it's perfect for a stream is um, is just getting our actual little uh, morning. Hey, Red, how you doing? Morning, Titan. Can't stay because I have to go do some chores done, but I want to drop and say hi. Thank you so much, Red. I appreciate it. Yeah, later today, I have to go out and I have to go rake some leaves. Um, it's, it's that time of year where the, the leaves are falling and they get all crinkly and stuff like that. And, uh, and one of our dogs doesn't like walking on crinkly leaves where the other one just plows right through them. So, <laughs> so it's, it's bizarre. So I, I've got those chores too. That, and that'll take uh, two afternoons to do. It'll take two afternoons. And, and the crazy part is 90% of the leaves are still on the trees and there's already a ton of leaves. So I'm, I'm blaming the neighbors. The neighbor, my closest neighbor is 900 yards away. Like they're ages away. Like even binoculars to find these guys. And uh, I'm, I'm blaming their leaves <laughs> in my yard. <laughs> but, but what I've noticed too um, is I, I would like to say select these guys. Whoop. Hit the shift key so we can do multiple selections. Like I would just select a few of these guys. Make it nice and small as to not distort any of the individual 
uh, hairs. And then I would just go to edit, fill, and I would use content aware. Uh, normal with 100% opacity with color adaption selected and preserve transparency not selected and just hit okay. And they're gone. Look at that. It's, it's, it's time consuming, but as you can see here, it just keeps keeps all the hairs as is and especially when we get into like spots along in the here and that it uh, you see how it, it gradually goes up but it still looks kind of blown well if we if we use that technique around in here especially around his eyes and that we're not uh, destroying the image the the and this this image took five hours to render this this headshot it took five hours <laughs> and the body shot uh, took all night like when I got up this morning and checked the computer, uh, this render was just finishing up. So five hours and seven hours. So yeah, and I and I know it was using the CPU to render. It wasn't using the GPU because I was jumping back and forth between um, between uh, um, whatever the hairy heck this thing here is. I'll show you whatever whatever this is this uh, this task manager. <laughs> So yeah, 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 yeah. What can you do when you live in a zoo? Uh, <laughs> so we're going to start with this ear here, and then uh, we're going to do lots and lots of content to wear to preserve the stray strands going over the place that look really nice. And it's already masked out like that. So so that I'm, I'm really happy with that, so I don't want to destroy this. And this is going to go up in my... Uh, portfolio as well too at uh, uh, titanthegreatdane.com so yeah so cool so we're gonna start getting into this I'm gonna get myself nice and comfortable nice and comfy have my water nice and close cool yeah good times whoops yeah okay ah what do you what am I doing <laughs> all right so Get my finger over that shift key there and start doing lots of little selections and then start doing uh, our uh, content aware fill. Yeah. Actually, this is my stylus. There we go. Cool. Yeah. But having it with a stylus is just so much faster. And then only do uh, certain like like gridded out, like gridded out in your head, what areas you want to do. Like don't don't do a spot over here, then a spot over here, a spot over here. You just kind of like start in one spot and just kind of move along with it. So I re I like that. I do like the the end results of the renderer that comes from um, that comes from Nvidia Iray, but. Uh, when I gotta mess around with this, and especially when I'm like playing around with the uh, with the lights and that, and this and this happens, it's uh, it, it gets an oh my little use my own guidelines. Cool. Carry on. Cool. So edit, fill. Content aware, select away. Yeah, that did a good job. Yeah, that did a pretty good job. Good stuff. Oh, there we go. Oh, and it looks like my other dog wants in. He usually doesn't want to come in all the time, but now this one wants to come in. So we're gonna do a content aware fill here, fill. And then we're gonna put our be right back. <laughs> I will be right back. Hang on, guys. Cool. Right back.
All right, the Fearless Titan has returned. <laughs> cool. There we go. Awesome. Okay. All right, so we're still working on this ear here. Very good. And uh, we'll just keep right on trucking. Right on trucking. Yeah. Sip of water. Okay, let's fix up some of these highlights here. That up a bit. Okay, I'm gonna go clockwise around the ear to get a, get them all fixed up. Okay. Control Z is our friend. Excellent. This shouldn't take very long at all. Not long at all. Kind of. What kind of song we got going on playing here? What is this? In Solitude. Okay, uh, Christopher, thank you very much from Epidemic Sound. <laughs> Cool. It goes with the with the mellow aspect of what's going on here, eh? Nice and mellow. <laughs> right on. Cool. See, sometimes it's it's just nice and. It's just nice to mellow out on, on doing some things like this, eh? It's just, uh, especially when you've had a really hectic week and, and the weekend, you know, you got work to do on the weekend, but uh, you, you start to dread it. And then when you start dreading the work that you need to do, you, you find reasons to talk yourself out of it. And, uh, and that just can lead to, to some disaster. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean? <laughs> Is there? Yeah, okay, so I have to keep hitting shift every time. I just thought that'd be uh, a neat way to get around that, but no such luck. Very good. This is a nice song. to wear. Nice. Okay, so we're just got a little, little fix up in here. What happened here? Hmm. Edit, fill. When I used to do this a whole bunch of times, never actually really did that before. Hmm. when we, um, we blow them out a bit. Yeah, that, see, it's already gotten rid of a lot of that, a lot of that junk that's in there. <laughs> cool. Some randomness is fine. I like a little bit of randomness in some things. That's okay. So I wonder if I should be, instead of making them so small, maybe I should just make them a little bit bigger. Because there's so much of it. And I'll just make these... Oh, I'm not hitting shift. There, now I'm holding down shift. Now I'm doing multiple selections. There we go. Okay. Alright, now let's do content fill. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. So I was, I was making them too small. 
aus. Oh, I'm not hitting shift again. Oh, that's gonna be my my bane today. <laughs> Do that. Maybe it'll do that. I'll fix that one there. I'll do that. I'll fix that one there. Okay, let's be sure. Fill. Okay. Yeah, that that's better. So I, I was definitely making the circles way too small with this poor guy because he's such a good boy. How how can you how can you do these eyes any wrong? Like, just look at that. Just oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love I love how that. That'd be cool if I can uh, uh, specialize myself in doing eyes and renders. Like, I'm the eye guy. <laughs> Tighten the eye guy. Yeah, that would work. Sure, sure, uh, I'll, I'll roll with that. Tighten the eye guy. <laughs> and be like, what? <laughs> yeah, I guess if you niche yourself way too far down, it uh, you, you knock yourself out of doing jobs and gigs. <laughs> So diversification is very helpful within reason, right? I don't think that was shift F5, right? Yeah, we'll just do that. Boop. Oh yeah, that's 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 working for me. Okay, cool. So here it's gonna get a little more interesting. Oh, didn't do that. Cool. Kind of stay within the same grid. Right on. Moving along here. Cool. So it doesn't bugger out on itself. Yeah. It's just these these funny little blown pieces I want to get rid of. And having a stylus is really handy for this. This is nice. Cool. Shift F5. Go. Yeah, there we are. There we are. Now it blurs it a little bit, but uh, when you look at the grand scope of things, it uh, can't even tell. Because if I do like a, a denoise and all in the sky, it would just muddy up all the fur that's that's nice in here. And uh, I, 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 I want to keep as much detail as I can. But, but fixing these highlights here. Now these these highlights are, are looking okay. I'm gonna fix that guy there, but because uh, that's kind of sticking out like a sore thumb. You know, it's like there's a hair across a hair. You know? <laughs> uh, okay, so let's get that there. And then we'll just shift F5, that one. That was just a little too much. So why don't we... Yeah. Now try it. Shift F5. Maybe if we play the opacity a bit, maybe make the opacity 70%. See how that works. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, it made it less so. It's there, but it's less so. Okay. Okay. See, I don't know if it was the latest update, because I, I used to do content aware on things all the time, and I've never really had this problem. So I'm just going to grab my eraser here. And size of 12. Yeah, it's a little too big for 12. Why don't we bring you down? Six? Yeah, six is nice. There we go. There we are. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Let's go back to our lasso tool here. Cool. Right on. Fix that guy. Oh. Me and my shift key. Me and my shift key. <laughs> what do we got going on? I, I like these strands here. That's all right. 
shift F5. Maybe we'll bring you back up to 100. Yeah, that's okay. Cool. Maybe I'm zoomed in too much. I should zoom, zoom out. There we go. There we go. Yeah, it's it's these in here that are that are annoying me. But these outer ones are okay. So I think this 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 ear is doing pretty good. Yeah, I'm liking that over there. Oh, there's some something weird happening here. So we're gonna fix you up. Okay. Oh, and you as well. Yeah, I remember to hit shift this time. <laughs> and there's something going on here. Okay. And uh, so one thing about when when you're doing corrections is that um, you can overcorrect. <laughs> and that that gets annoying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No pixel selected. That's fine. I'm good with that. Good old shift key. <laughs> right on. What have we got going on here? So yeah, so that's good. Uh, let's go shift at five. Fix that up. Okay. Go over here. Yeah, there's, there's some stuff, some junk over here that's kind of annoying. Shift key. Our friend, the shift key. Yeah, that one's kind of annoying. I wonder if that was one I selected before. Yeah, and then this one's kind of annoying too. Oh, let's get the rest of that in there. Okay, cool. So shift F5. Go. Yeah, there we go. That, that. All right. <laughs> yeah, see when I uh, when you overcorrect. Yeah. Okay. And I wonder. I... Yeah, maybe then we'll just use the eraser tool on him. Inside. Cool. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, okay, I'm good with that. Got to make the that determination sometimes. <laughs> um. Okay. Whoops. Let's get over to his other ear. Yeah, these little these little bits are are bothersome. So I'm gonna grab some water here. Very nice indeed. Cool. Awesome. Awesome possum. Cool. That one might be okay as its own. Let's stick within your region. Stick within the region. Check that five. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got we got the idea of Photoshop. Thanks, thanks for letting me know. You're you're great. <laughs> Make this so it's nice and comfortable. Cool. Right on. Now, would that be too much of an area? Nope, that one was fine. Okay. All right. Big chunk. There we are. Yeah, that's working. Okay, so we're just going to go right here. Oh, I think that's too small. Too small an area. There we go. Yeah. Oh, this is so nice and relaxing. Oh, this is so nice. Uh, I think I'll include you in there. There you go. Husky doesn't mind. Husky likes it. Yeah, he's a, he's a good boy. 
<laughs> Shift F5. There we go. Um, look at the big scoops. Yeah, when you make them too big. Yeah, it's negligible. We, we can work with that because it's, it's randomized in there enough. So we're able to play with that. We're able to play with it quite a bit. <laughs> All right, moving right along. Okay, go back to my lasso tool for our content fill, and then we'll get this here. There we go. Now, just for fun, let's see how that just looks as is. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, no problems. Cool. Okay, I think we're going to grab the eraser tool here. We're just going to go in a little bit. Whoops. There we go. A little, little bit of that. A little bit of that. There we go. Well, that's that's the danger of uh, with the eraser tool, because things can start looking really good. <laughs> and it's like, no, 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 that's not what I'm going to do. That's why I like uh, content aware so much. So now we've got some blue going on here. We have blue down here. Yeah, we have blue down here. Just needs to be a big chunk of blue. So why don't we content aware that out and see what happens. Shift F5. Mm, yeah. Um, why don't we take this bit off. Now content aware. Okay. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm good with that. Now I could probably get into this. There we go. Need a bit of blob. Hmm. Okay, I will have to grab the eraser tool for this one. Oh, hold E. There we go. There. So, so we keep the randomness going. There we go. Um, of course. We look back to what we've done before. <laughs> Dude. Oh, what happened here? What is going on? What is going on here? Edit. <laughs> oh, was that the layer's not selected? Oh, okay. Oh. Photoshop, come on, you're the <laughs> bane to my soul. <laughs> All right, cool. To the ends of the earth, that's what the song title is for this one. Whoop. Didn't like that very much. Okay. I'll do that. Why don't we do you? You. You. What? Oh, I'm not hitting the shift button again. There we go. Shift F5. Shift F5. Hmm. Content wearing is not content wearing enough for me. <laughs> Just kind of lop that out a bit. Okay. Yeah. See, that's that's why I hate doing the eraser tool. Just because of this. I, um, I destroyed part of that there. Okay, back to our history. Okay, and... Uh, I'm going to scroll this up. Woo, how much of the eraser was I doing? Oh, it's quite a bit. Okay, well, we're going to... We're going to get our friend the smudge tool here, and we're going to... Smudge that out. Yeah, it's too high. Okay, we're gonna have to decrease that. Okay, decrease its size to six. 
There we go. Oh. You know, sponge tools actually working pretty good. And when I go back to my layers here, I hide that. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, because uh, we're zoomed all the way in. Eh? Yeah, that looks really good. Cool. Oh, zoomed way too much. Okay, why don't we grab... The sharpen tool a bit. Ha <laughs> 65. Yeah. Six. There we go. Cool. Well, that's way too huge. From from another project I was playing around with. There we go. Yeah, that's working for me. Cool. Nice. All right. So let's get back to this guy here. You ever notice that you get on these these tangents and you're doing something rather and then it just just messes up messes you up but come on all right oh he's looking so good yeah he's looking pretty good okay so we're gonna we're gonna keep these ones little here because that works with the light so why don't we do some adjusting right down in here here we go very good okay now okay awesome okay oh that was me hitting the mic stand with my elbow good for me <laughs> okay our friend the shift key okay and then shift f5 Boop. there we go and now is the content aware tool There we are. Uh, kind of stay within our grid. Okay, shift F5. Nice. Yeah, I cut. I like. I like these these funny little strands going here. So we're gonna keep those strands. Strands are good. We like strands. Nice. Okay, here's. Here we got a little bit of a thing going on. We're gonna fix these in the brow too in a moment but uh, we're still going clockwise around them so actually I better better zoom out and take a look see here yeah so the the outer ears are looking much better okay happy with that so let's start working along into the cheekbone a bit okay get ourselves comfortable all right come on let's get those tools going Get those tools going, man! <laughs> Excellent. No, I don't think I need to worry about that one. These, these other bright spots. Out, out of place bright spots. Out of place right, bright spots. Here we go. Done. Okay. And that good old content aware tool. Oh, I don't need to... There we go. <laughs> Nice. Now we're now we're working. Now we're working. Uh, shift F5. Okay. All right. Zoom out again so we can see what we're doing. Because we want to keep we want to keep the individual strands. Because it renders out the individual strands. A eh? in iRay in Nvidia iRay. It, I love it. So. Um, I kind of like how it has a bit of a cluster in there. We'll get to you in a minute. Um, there's something happening down here. So let's not zoom in that much. <laughs> okay, so let's get this going here. Awesome. So where's where's the big cluster? See here we got the strands kind of going like downwards here. So we don't want to muddy it up. So it's kind of... Do a nice big selection here. Just do a test one here. So shift F5. Yeah, that's good. I like that. So it didn't it didn't mess up too much. Yeah. 
it kind of and the strands are still going in that direction too right on so let's grab this and our friend the shift tool or shift key grab this grab some more of this avoid the whiskers if we can or else the whiskers could inadvertently be uh, done as well okay so we'll grab that oh too small bigger there we go so let's make sure we're we're in the same spot yeah there we go okay oh, i should make a bigger selection there we go okay right on now these little itty bitty dots that's fine i'm, I'm good with that because what we we like some randomness here right on cool cool Okay. All right, five. Yeah, that worked out really nice. That worked out really, really nice. Okay. Now we can we can use the clone tool, um, but this content aware just seems to do a great job for what I needed to do. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. We'll get to there in a minute. <laughs> Moving along here. Yeah, okay. I kind of like I kind of like some of these here. But these these longer ones, I don't care for them very much at all. So we're going to content aware of those it's too big of a cluster and we don't want to mess up our beautiful hair on this guy yeah look at that that's wonderful now you might think there's a whole bunch here but this works in relation to where the light is eh where the light is coming in on our husky yeah Oh, there's something going on over here. Nope, oh, zoom too far in. Okay, we don't want to affect that too much. There we go. Shift F5. Nice. Yeah, that worked out. Mm, okay, so when you get close to the eyes, you don't lock it up too, too much. So I'm going to go into here. And then I'm going to go into here. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, so maybe we'll get into here. And we even have some flecks of hair over the eye a bit too. That's that's really nice. Okay, so we'll go like this. And there we go. Next eye. Yeah, there's there's a little piece right here that could be very annoying. And we're gonna expand that to here with this one. Shift F5. Oh, we got too much of his eyeball in there. Okay, that one we're gonna have to probably um, work with. There we go. We're gonna have to use the clone tool, I think. Okay, what is going on here? See, I want to set this as my origin. Why isn't it working? Do I have to have it the other way? What the deuce? Clone tool's not working. Is, is it because it's a little small? Yeah, okay, so that's really weird. Okay, so let's set an origin point here and go over here. Why isn't my clone tool working? What am I... Oh, because of a selection. That's why. Okay. <laughs> oh. I think 
it was four, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. So, origin point. <laughs> there we go. The origin point. There. There. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. So, silly me. Silly me! <laughs> All right. Okay, I think we could probably get right down. Oh, we got some flicks happening here, so let's let's get those guys. Shift, shift. Uh, do that. Do that with that. F five. Oh yeah, yeah, that worked. Okay, cool. All right, now here. This should be fun. Just do bits at a time, bits at a time. Excellent. Moving into here. Right on. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Because the strands are farther apart from each other. Excellente! Shift key is your friend. There we go. Yeah, okay, we just have to make them. Because uh, the hair is farther apart from each other, we're going to uh, make these selections a little tighter. I think I might have messed up with this last one here, so let's find out. No, I did okay. Yeah, I did okay. Alright. And it's just the bright ones we're worried about. The really bright ones. Right, right. Okay, cool. No, I don't... I think I made it too big. No, it worked out. Okay. Yeah, that's working really, really good. Cool. There. Yeah. Cause I like the little I like the little bit of flicks in there. Oops. Yeah, I know. Like if you wanted to take them out, you can. But then you lay at this for a zillion years. But of course when you when you zoom out, it just adds to the appeal. Right? It's like there's the flicks at the top of the nose here, and uh, it just adds to the character, right? Yeah, we've got little ones up here. It's these really big ones that that, uh, that annoy me. <laughs> All right, time to grab some water. All right. Oh, let's kind of zoom back in here. This one might cause me some troubles, so let's have a look. So we'll just make it nice and tight. Alright, get back into there, bring it around. Nice. I might just go back and get into those ones if I find them annoying me too much. I sh they shouldn't. They shouldn't. It's these, it's these random little white bits. Random little white bits. There we go. I like it. And we got some good music with this too, so I think that just works out wonderfully. Cool. I like, I like how this one is kind of brighter here, but I don't like how bright this guy is. Oh, I might have made that too big. No, okay, I saved. <laughs> there you go. Five. 
Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is nice here. Um, it's got a weird one happening here. Make that go away. Goodbye, my pretties. <laughs> All right. Oops. There's that shift key again. Make that into there. Yeah. So, I have an account with Restream, eh? And Restream allows me to stream simultaneously on uh, Twitch, as well as YouTube, and Facebook. And uh, there's a way I can even stream on Instagram, but Insta Instagram baffles me. Like, I've, I've had a couple of accounts before on Instagram, and I just just couldn't get that figured out. I, but I, I, was, I did much better on, uh, on YouTube, and, and Twitch is new to me as well, too, eh? But... Um, but Restream, it has all these other other places where you can stream too, like uh, like on LinkedIn. And, and I actually saw uh, one other profile where someone was using their avatar, just like I'm using Titan here as my avatar, to uh, to stream on LinkedIn with. And, and they had viewers on there, and I was thinking of doing that. I said, why not? Like, like this is my persona right now, and and I really like it. And, and I got uh, some great people following this channel here, which is really nice. So... So they like it too, and and uh, and it's just been working out. So so there's some other ones called Trello, uh, and I was looking into that and thinking, yeah, why not? Because the music that I have here is uh, with Epidemic Sound, and I have a, a license with them to uh, to broadcast their music on uh, on various channels and that. But you have to register where you're gonna play this music to, which. Is like no, no problem. Sure, I'll, I'll let you know where I'm going to stream to, because if I'm streaming to these places, I'll be streaming to them, like, all the time. <laughs> so why not register them, eh? Like, I don't see a big deal with that. And um, so I was thinking of uh, restreaming uh, to those guys as well, too. Now, I'm not an affiliate uh, with Twitch, uh, so I am free to stream elsewhere <laughs> with all of this, eh? Uh, did that work? Yeah, that worked out really good. So, um, so cool. Bum, bum, bum. Do I want to be an affiliate with Twitch? Yeah, that might be something cool. Uh, because um, one of the big things I've noticed with Twitch is that a lot of people like is uh, the fact that uh, they could spend... Uh, uh, points or or whatever the, the the creator has made as currency to trade in points for doing actions with the avatar or with the creator or anything along those lines too. I, I see that as as a, as a nice competitive advantage. Um, I don't I don't see it as a be all and end all, but it'd be really nice to have this interaction uh, once I do become affiliate. That is a goal of mine is to become affiliate because while I'm restreaming on all these other streams. Um, I'm testing the waters where these other locations are like, right? So, uh, so say for example, all of a sudden I get a lot of traction on LinkedIn, right? And if I get a lot of traction on LinkedIn, then uh, then maybe LinkedIn would be a place I I primarily concentrate on, eh? Because you go where the congregation is, like where your target audience is, is where you 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 present yourself, right? A lot of people um, use Twitch that I've seen is because. Uh, They've, that, that's what they're used to, and that's where a lot of other people are. But um, I, I like to try new things, and I like to try different things. Like, like look at my streams. Like, I'm, I'm still in my soft opening, and I'm trying all these different things, seeing, seeing what people have traction to and what they like and whatnot. And, uh, and I'm sticking to a schedule. So a schedule is, is nice because it's, it's for me and for... Uh, the people who enjoy my streams uh, to come to rely on when when I'm available, eh? And then uh, the more people that follow me on Twitch or uh, or uh, or like and subscribe on YouTube and and so on and so forth, it's uh, then I can have a, a better reach on getting more people. So please hit that follow button <laughs> here on Twitch and on YouTube. Please like and subscribe so uh, so other people can enjoy what we're doing here because because there, there's so much stuff that uh, that I can share. Right, and and it's practical things like, and you're, and you're seeing me do this stuff in real time, and I and I I'm really enjoying this. Uh, yesterday's stream, I was talking about how uh, how I had stage fright. Like all of a sudden, I just did not want to hit that streaming button, and and it was it was so weird. But uh, but how I got around it 
is that uh, I prepare myself for the day beforehand. Like I do my, I still do my drawing warm ups uh, right now before streaming, and uh, and I go out and walk the dogs, and uh, and just doing those different things helps a lot too, eh? And it kills that creative block. And uh, and then today, uh, I thought, oh my goodness, I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna get those Jimmy Jongas again, and uh, what am I gonna do? Uh, it's 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 that strange little bit of self doubt, but once. Uh, but today, it's gone. Like, it wasn't 100% gone. No, no. It was not 100% gone. But uh, that, uh, that, that self-doubt wasn't there. And it's like, you know, I had a good stream yesterday. And, and I'm doing something different today that I would normally just do by myself. But now I'm doing it on Twitch because, hey, why not? And, uh, and, I, and I didn't feel terrible about it. Um, but what also helped me is preparedness because <laughs> I had an idea what I wanted to do today. Um, I wanted to work with fur and I'm, I'm working with fur for, for Mr. Gorgeous eyes here. This, this, the eyes are just so gorgeous on him. I am, I just love his eyes and I've spent a lot of time yesterday working on the eyes, but I, I wanted this fur to work in octane and apparently octane um, doesn't like individual strands of fur because each strand is individually rendered eh? <laughs> so i went back to uh, i ray and i knew it was going to take a long time on this computer so uh this this headshot this headshot here um took five hours <laughs> to render oh he's looking so good it took five hours to render this guy and then the body shot here, it's like this one here, took seven hours. Now here's a lot of noise I'm gonna adjust with that. I'll have to take all that out too. And and uh, uh, maybe maybe I'll do the body tomorrow. I could do his body tomorrow, but I, I like the light. The light worked really well. And he has all that gorgeous detail in his face as well too. And, but but the eye ray, the only thing I didn't like about that eye ray, eye ray renderer is even though I muck around with the lighting with it, I still get these funny little highlights. And I, and I don't know if it's a glitch uh, with my computer, because I see other people render fur in that, and they don't seem to get these glitches. But I do, so I won. I won. <laughs> I win. <laughs> right on. So I'm going to grab some water here. Thank you, Last Wolf Two, <laughs> for entertaining us. So yeah, great on. But uh, this this is turning out really nice. I'm I'm really happy how this is turning out on this guy. I really am. And this and this is going to go up my portfolio too. At uh, TitanTheGreatDane.com. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, we got some exciting music going on. Okay, so let's see what we can do about this junk here. Is it gonna mess it up? Let's have a look. It might be too wide and too big. No, content aware wins again. And again, the reason I'm using content aware so much is because I don't wanna, if I use like a standard denoiser or anything along those lines, it, uh, it could blur out the hair and then I lose the detail. And I don't want to lose the detail, especially if it's going on in my portfolio. <laughs> so a little bit of care, a little bit of time. And then people see in real time what I'm doing here. Uh, if they ever wanted to hire me for commission. Um, five. Oops. Okay, now was that too blurry? So let's do a little test. No, I think, I think that worked out pretty good. Yeah, so I got, so see, I, I was able to retain all of the attention here. Yeah, all the, all the, all the strands. That is <laughs> lovely. Oh, he's such a good boy. He's a good boy. Yeah. 
carry on. So let's let's kind of go. Let's start over here and go counterclockwise. Yeah. So here's all the here's a bunch of funny little dots. So we're gonna do content aware of these guys. Now, before content aware came really became a thing, I uh, I used to use the clone tool a lot. Actually, that's all I ever used was the clone tool. And uh, and then when you're mucking around with fur, um, it can it can mess it up pretty good. Now you might be thinking, wait, you just blurred that out. Yeah, it might look a tad blurry there, but the strands are still going the same direction. They're still they're, the strands are not going all over the place. They're still going in the same general direction when I use content aware, right? Yeah. See, there's a method to my madness. Now I am going to keep these 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 ones here because it goes along with the white, the way the light was being projected. And then these didn't even show up until after the final render anyway. So <laughs> like who who's going to stick around for five hours uh, waiting for something to finish doing its thing. Um, actually, no, I would. <laughs> I would. I, I would be that person. <laughs> but um, that's neither here nor there. Yeah, you know, even even right out of school, you know, everything had to be like super perfection. Like, if you're in the art industry and, uh, and you wanted to make a name for yourself, didn't you spend... Uh, an exorbitant amount of time trying to get something just right like I mean literally just right and uh, and then it wasn't until like I mean years later when you're selling uh, your your craft when you're selling your art um, and you're and you're trying to try new things and uh, branch out just to get to the right customer base the customer who who understands you the best yeah I and then you're like, wait, why don't I try this and this and this? And then it's like, oh, they're responsive to that. You, you, you gauge to see how things are going. Um, yeah, the, I was that person. I was that person that, that would just work on something for like one thing forever and ever and ever. And, uh, and what is it? Um, the definition of, of insanity is keep doing the same thing over again and get and expecting a different result. So I've tried a lot of different things, lot, lots of different things in different industries, like, uh, like the digital arts and farming and all that too. And, and I found I really liked farming, but also like digital art. And I really like animals a lot. So, so this just, just works out for me. Oh, and I'm, I'm pretty happy where we, I can kind of marry the two together. Um, but I do want to have my own farmstead. That would be really, really sweet. I would, I would, it would be the bee's knees if I had my own running farm here and I had, uh, if I had cattle and goats and horses, that would, that would be, and would be self-sustaining. That would be like immaculate. I, I, I would be, I would be so gloriously happy to have my own farmstead. And I would still have time to do this as well. Yeah, because I like being here with you. I like being with my fellow Titans here on Twitch. And YouTube and Facebook. <laughs> it's uh, it's something I, I look forward to. Even the night before. Like, like this is why I even planned this out. Because I... Um, well, I was trying to get for to work in Octane and it wouldn't. But, uh, but when I was planning this out, it was just... Uh, and I kind of knew I was going to get these little funny little highlight bits. Going, you know, this would be something that I could... I could stream on Twitch in the in the art section and, and it would just completely coincide, right? Especially when you put the title in there is that I'm fixing a fur and a render. It's like, oh, now I know exactly what he's doing. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> so, uh, oh, it's all joyous and fun. Of course, I shouldn't be too picky with some of these dots. Let's just go for the really large ones. Nice. Are you having a good time, Titans? I'm having a great time, Titans. I'm, I'm really liking, I'm really liking this a lot. Oh, here, oh, 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 hang on. That one, that, does that look 
too terrible? Or... Yeah, it does look out of place. Okay. Boop! With that one. And that one. And that one. Alright. Content of art. Yeah, it's gone. All right, our friend, the content aware tool. Thank goodness. Or like I said, I'll just be doing um, the clone tool continuously forever and ever. Oh, wait. Now, now that I see this, these little dots here, I want to I want to take them out. <laughs> yeah, OK, I better do it. I better do it because I'll just oh, I made that too big. I um, I could just see myself kicking myself, not not fixing those, and like, oh, why didn't I just go in and do it? And then I would, and then I would I would work on something else for way too long. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, even back in those days, I would I would spend so much time working on something, and uh, and I would wonder why I wasn't getting the results I was looking for, and. Uh, and I discovered I was doing something that not a lot of people were interested in. So I had to I had to adapt and I had to learn what my market wanted by trying different things. And then when you're trying different things, you figure out what your market likes, what your people like, your congregation, and then uh, you just roll with it. And then you and then everybody grows, right? Everybody learns, everybody grows, everybody comes back and that's that's what ultimate is, is that you want people to return you want people to come back on a regular basis now some people might be watching this and going they they, they might see this for about two minutes whoops and they're like oh i get it 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 but um, one thing i have learned on twitch is that uh, and what has kept me going back to people that are stream on twitch is when they're talking about something relevant to me. Like there's, there's like, oh, he's, he's that guy saying something or that, that person saying something that uh, I like I like to know about and like to see. And, uh, and I, whoops, and I might only stick around the first couple of times, maybe two minutes, and just get a feel for it, eh? And then, and then I go back to my regulars and I, and I have a good time with my regulars and whatnot. But then I have that tinge in the back of my head where it's like, you know, why don't I go back? Oh, that person's streaming now? Why don't I go back and see what they're doing? And if I see they're doing the exact same thing continuously, it's like, oh, then I might have that, that comfort level with them. Yeah, I do I do like that. I do like that. But uh, but I also like to um, step out of my comfort zone a bit and uh, and to do some other things that, that, uh, that allow me to branch out. Uh, there we go. They allow me to branch out to uh, to try new experiences. That's always excited me. Uh, always, always doing something new. Always doing something different, and just makes me want to do it again. And then, if I really enjoy it, it's something I want to share, right? And then, um, and then if I'm like. And then, like, I'm enjoying my, my other people I follow on, on Twitch and that, and I go back to that person, and I see they're doing something different. But I remember the conversation that they're having um, at the time. Then let's see where that, where that thought pattern goes, right? And, uh, and just maybe stick around for five minutes this time. And, uh, and, and, you just cut, and then you find that over time, if you do return even a third time to this content creator, it's like, yeah, this person actually knows what they're talking about. And and then in the chat, uh, if someone wants to like chat in the chat, like if you want to lurk, lurking's great too. But if you want to chat in the chat, um, like I'm fairly responsive. <laughs> and, uh, and if people have some critiques in that, um, it's usually uh, if someone has a critique, uh, it's usually for a good reason and, and they're like well haven't you tried this or even tried this and it's like no I haven't tried that or I have tried that but this is what I've done in relation to that that I'm doing now right just like how I'm using content aware a lot instead of the clone tool I love content aware because content aware as I mentioned allows me to keep these strands right so the strands on my 
my beautiful husky here that I rendered in iRay, um, if I use like the denoiser or I, or I went overboard with the, with the clone tool, then all the strands that were individually rendered in iRay will become muddy. Whereas content aware, thank goodness Adobe did this, I was, uh, I, I can keep the strands flowing in the same direction. It's random, they're still random, but just like, like fur on an animal, it just, it just goes in a certain direction and it keeps it, right? Yeah. So that's why I'm using it of experience, right? Because like, even still, if you went onto YouTube right now and, uh, and you searched for uh, 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 fixing light on fur, you're gonna get a whole bunch of things about uh, blown out highlights or whatnot, eh? Whereas I'm actually, in the real world, I'm actually doing a fix for something that, that happens due to a render. And I, I think it's really my computer that does this, right? So, so I've learned in time that content aware in Photoshop for a 3D render works now this is a still image eh? like if it was if it was a whole bunch of things i would i would have to do something else if i had to use it as like uh like in an animation i wanted to bring into after effects which i'm going to do in the future um especially with titan with this guy here he's i have a lot of plans for titan like uh, get him going in unreal engine and get him going in after effects and all that like uh like like when people click on the follow button yeah uh, there's um there's a dance that Titan does uh, to celebrate someone following me here on the on the stream, which is which is fun. <laughs> That's cool. So when you click that follow button, you get to see Titan dance. <laughs> so click that follow button here on Twitch. <laughs> In the meantime, while you're reaching for that follow button there, I'm gonna get us at the water. and stick around and enjoy the music and hopefully the conversation. Cool. <laughs> I'm just getting picky. I'm getting picky. Cool, man. Oh, stay in the grid. Yeah, that's the other thing I had to I had to train my brain to do is uh, instead of like going here, 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 and here, <laughs> stay in one area, because if you if you jump around too much, then uh, then you you'll find out that you missed everything. <laughs> it's all part of the fun and the learning experience. Very nice. Yeah, that's working pretty good. What have we got going on down here? Yeah, we got some issues going on down here. Nope. Sweet. I think I might be too big. Nope, that's fine. Just need a little bit right there, because the content will wear itself out. Yeah. Yeah, you know? Or you might not know. I'm actually having a good time with this. Um, for ages, I would do this stuff, you know, just by myself. When I used to go to an office, now it's the home office. Um, I, I would be content doing all these things by myself. But I'm actually having a good time. There we go. I'm actually having a good time streaming what I usually do. A lot. <laughs> on uh, on stream here. I'm actually enjoying this. This is... It's almost therapeutic. Yeah. <laughs> cool. And having a, a tablet with a nice stylus makes a big difference too. I think I'm getting too picky again. Oh, I'm not even following my own rules. 
<laughs> what do we got? What are we doing here? Are we making a mess? Oh, we don't want to make a mess. <laughs> what? What? No. What? Stop that. No, I don't want to do that. What? What am I doing? What is this? What? What chaos is going on here? Why? What is going on? Ah. I clicked on something I shouldn't have. select there okay when in doubt grab the mouse right oh i moved him too he got moved okay let's go to our history here no i don't want to move him lasso 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 yeah lasso weird okay cool yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright, select or just control D. Alright, I think he's looking pretty good. His tail is looking nice and sharp. Yeah, I'm liking his tail there. Um I'm gonna keep these here. I got that junk away from his nose. His eyes, I'm just oh my goodness, I'm just in love with those eyes. I am so proud of those. Yeah, I think... Uh, here, let's move this down a bit. He's looking good. Oh, maybe we should do some stuff here. Okay. Oh, you know, save. I haven't saved in a while. <laughs> That's what I need. I need to have that where people click on this and say, be sure to save. <laughs> I always thought that was fun. I think that's... I've even done that for people, too. Oh, what do we want here? Here's what we want. Five. Yeah. I think this one, because it's on the outer edge. It's on the outer edge because uh, this is all done there. Eh? I think select, deselect. I think we're just going to grab the eraser tool. Who's going to know? Right? I won't tell if you won't tell. And I'm only using the eraser tool because I'm on the edge. Because content aware gets a little confused. There we go. There we go. Just little bits. Little bits. I should be doing this on a, on a mask, but... Okay. No, no, no. Don't go into overkill. I've done... I've done... Go into overkill mode. Cool. Very nice. What have we got going on? What have we got going on over here? <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, That's looking pretty good. Yeah, I like all that over there. His fur came out really nice there. I don't see I don't see any real mess ups or screw ups here. Just just being a little picky. Five. There we go. Alright. Bum bum bum. Moving up here. Yeah, his tail came out great. His bushy tail just came out, darling. It even looks good at a zoom of 700%. Of course, I had the, the bar in front of it there, but trust me, it's at 700%, and his tail just looks smashing. And look at that one random hair there. That's, that's fun. <laughs> oh, it's fun. See, now, now I'm looking at his brow in here, and I'm wondering if I should mess around with his brow too much. Like, that that one looks a little too blown out there, so why don't we... Whoops, no. Why don't we fix this a bit? Yeah, here we go. Okay, we'll just do the one. 
See how that looks? Yeah, okay. All right, so let's let's follow these strands here and stay within the area. Oops. Shift key. All right. Here we are. That's don't mess around with his whiskers. Yeah, that worked out really good. Okay. I'm going to zoom out so I get a better look here. Yeah, that that little bit made a difference. Okay, let's head back into here. Okay, no, nope, zoomed in too much. Yeah, when I zoom in too much, I'm just looking for problems. Looking for a fight. <laughs> fight me! <laughs> Fight me, Photoshop. Fight me. Um, okay. Is there, now there seems to be like some little blowouts here, so I'm gonna work on those two. Just the two, just the two, just the two. See how that works. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Oh, now I'm looking over there. Darn that eyeball for finding things. Grabbing the eraser. Oh, because of suction tool. Select, deselect. Fall for that trap again. There we go. Cool. Bum, bum, bum. What have we got here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's. Oh. Just love it. His eyes are so. Yeah. Okay, do I? I'm I'm okay with, with the um, the madness that's happening here, the chaos. Now, the light is working for me here. Yeah. Okay, let's grab some water. Yeah, and since it's for a portfolio, I could spend some time just kind of messing around with it. Why not? Why not? Oops! <laughs> yeah, I'll just have uh, I'll just have this woo this big spot here, which is uh, <laughs> yeah. There we are. There, now he's got some glasses. Awesome. Glasses are cool. <laughs> yes, thank you, Photoshop. You're very helpful. What was I? Oh yeah, some little bits of junk over here. Shoot. Okay. This process ain't so bad. This is fun. I like this. is This is fun stuff. This is fun for me. Ah, no cancel. What would have happened there if I left that selection going? Cool. I like these bits here. Especially when I zoom out. Cool. Oh, we haven't heard this song since yesterday. Okay, let's go to the next one. Cool. Oh, that one's good. All right. Yeah, imagine doing this to rock music. <laughs> oh, that actually could be fun. I did a drawing Roma uh, warm up episode to rock music. It was all rock. It was hard rock, metal, and alternative. And it was absolute chaos doing that. <laughs> Trying doing drawing warm ups to uh, to that was was just wicked. <laughs> um. Yeah, we're gonna keep. Oh, now I see something in his eye. Oh. Okay, this piece right here. What are we going to do with you? Maybe we can just burn it down. Oh, wait, I've got something selected. Deselect. Okay. There. Yeah, okay. There we go. 
phone. Keep the keep the hair in the eyes. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna keep all those there. Yeah, he's looking pretty darling. We're gonna keep that bits down there. Yeah. Keep that. I think. I think we got her. Yeah. I think we got her. Out, save your work. Yeah, really. Um, yeah. Cool. Yeah, okay, I think I'm done. <laughs> The more I look at the more I want to uh the more I want to uh <laughs> make some changes. Yeah, okay. I think our husky boy is good. I think we've we've got him settled. Settled in. Oh, he's such a good boy. Alright, very good. Okay, oh my goodness, I did this for an hour and a half. I worked on this on them for an hour and a half. Well, thank you so much for sticking around, guys. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I really appreciate you sticking around with me for so long here. And, uh, yeah. And I'll just, uh, I'm gonna pop them on there as is. Um. Oh, what is this? What is happening here? <laughs> We're not done. <laughs> We're just gonna grab our eraser tool here. To it, and we're just gonna make that smaller. Make it two. We're gonna... Two. We're gonna fake it till we make it, right? Okay. I didn't like those scrubs. I had been. I think this happened when um, when I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. I'm pretty sure this happened when I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. Can't kind of get rid of that boxiness. Go away. There we go. Get rid of the boxiness. Whoops. What I'm doing here is I'm adding more pressure near the end. A little bit of pressure beginning, more pressure at the end. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, that, this, whoops, this bit here matches this bit here. Where it kind of starts getting a little bit longer, that matches that side. Match, those two sides match. All right, cool. Gee, I'm glad I noticed that. Yeah. There. Oh, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. All right, we're going to, we're going to do that. Awesome. All right, well, thank you so much for sticking around with me here today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great one. Cheers. Bye-bye.